Hi, this is Srinivas. Today we will see some more external commands. First of all, we will see chkdsk command. But for this command, we have to open a DOS into elevated mode. So to open the elevated to open the DOS in elevated mode, we have to press Ctrl R, CMD. So if I give a command chkdsk, see it gives, uh, see error it is giving, access denied as you do not have uh, sufficient privileges, you have to invoke this utility by running in elevated mode. It means that we have to open a DOS in a elevated mode. It means for at this point of time it will not run this uh, chkdsk command so we have to run the dos command in a elevated mode see to open a dos in a elevated mode press cmd at in the run command right click the mouse and press run as administrator so we have to press yes See, see now CHK DSK command which is used to check the drive and it displays the status of the report see chk dsk so if i press enter see it checks the drive and it displays the status of the drive see before it is it was not coming because of uh, we have opened uh, the ms dos in a normal mode now we have opened uh, in a elevated mode what exactly a elevated mode means uh, so to run some commands i mean dos commands uh, we have some we need to have some privileges so i, I mean administrative privileges so to get administrative privileges you have to open the dos prompt or dos command means dos in an administrator mode okay see chk dsk command so it has given uh, it has checked the disk i mean drive c and it has given the status report see at the same manner chk dsk slash f see it is a command which is used to fix the drive errors okay see chk dsk slash f it is giving see so it takes uh, some time so for the time being uh, we are entering end uh, i mean we have to enter uh, n okay so if you press yes y then it will uh, check the disk uh, and it uh, it fix the errors if it already exists okay so now i am pressing n okay so that is the command which is used to fix the drive errors by using chkdsk slash f okay next l a b e l label so label is a command which is used to keep any label name to a particular drive so for this command also we have to open in an administrative mode see label press enter see it is showing that volume in drive c has no label see if you want you can give the label to particular drive see first i am giving any label you can give it uh, suppose psi i have given a label see after that you have to enter again if you press a b a label it gives the drive label name as psi see volume in drive c is soy okay the label name of that particular drive is soy okay and again 
see if, if I want to give one more label so you can give it otherwise you can press enter okay so if you want to delete you just press yes otherwise you end. okay so that is about uh, label command Next, tree. Tree is a command which is used to display the structure of the drive and directories. See, tree. It gives complete structure of the drive in a tree format. So, meanwhile, if I want to stop, I can press this by control C. So it gives like that uh, as a tree structure. See next uh, x copy. X copy is a command which is used to copy from one drive to second drive. Means uh, if I want to copy all the content of particular drive into another drive, I can use it a uh, command uh, x copy. X copy and source drive space destination drive so if i give like a command x copy a colon to b colon means whatever the directories and files means automatically it copies from a drive to b drive but at least at, at present it will not work here because uh, so this is a uh, so it takes a lot of time to copy x copy command in this mode x copy Suppose if I want to copy the D drive data into F drive, automatically it copies. So from whatever the data from D drive to F drive, it will copy. Okay. So that is about X copy. Means exactly what exactly it will do is it copies from one drive to another drive. Before we do actually using this command to copy from one, one floppy drive to another floppy drive whenever you enter x copy from uh, suppose a colon to b colon like that uh, so it will ask a drive to enter the source drive so then you have to press you have to enter into the floppy drive in the a drive and again you have to press enter it reads the data which is existed in a drive into the buffer automatically again it will ask to enter the destination drive again you have to you have to enter into you have to enter the b drive in the b again a drive and you have to press enter automatically the contents which are available in the a drive it copies into b drive okay that's all thank you